Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Jamilette. Welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, please. That will really help me. But today, I'm really, really excited. I'm so excited. Oh my God, you guys. I've been really wanting to do this video and I've been really wanting to get this specific palette. And I finally got it for Christmas. I was like, I need to make a video like ASAP. Um, this is the Morphe Times James Charles, and this is the Artistry palette. And can we can we take a moment to talk about the colors though? Like, like girl, this is like everything you need in your makeup kit. <laughs> I mean, this really inspires me to really play with color and just just to like have fun, as you can see. <laughs> But you guys are gonna see me kind of play with the colors and you know, you guys are gonna be able to see how they perform, how the pigmentation is and all that good stuff. So if you guys wanna learn how I did this makeup look, then just keep on watching. All right guys, so I'm so glad this palette has um, the names on them. With the other palettes that I have, they don't really have a name and it's kind of weird to be just like, oh look, this is the eyeshadow I'm using, you know, and this is the one. But with this one, I can actually show you or tell you which shade I'm using. What I wish though that it didn't came like this, that it can't, that the names actually came on the palette because it will be a little bit easier, but it's okay, it's not a big deal. So I'm gonna be using the color Scape, which is like a deep purple. And I'm gonna be using my Morphe M506 to kind of apply it on the outer corner of my eye. Just like this. And I'm gonna be taking it very out because I wanna make kind of like a wing illusion. And this purple is so nice. It's very, very pigmented, which I love. You see, I'm kind of making like a, like a cut eye look with, or like a wing look with the eyeshadow. Okay, now I'm gonna be cleaning my brush and kind of blend the edges out a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see me very well there, but just try to blend that out with the same brush. Just clean it really good. And now I'm gonna be taking the color Skip, which is a beautiful pink shadow, a bright pink shadow, and place it right on top, right there, right on top of that purple that I just put in. And I'm gonna be taking it all the way in the whole crease. And I'm still using the same brush right now I'm not really worrying about blending it out but I'm just placing the color and then I'll worry about blending it later so now I'm gonna apply a little bit more of that of the scape on the very outer so that it doesn't get lost with the pink because I still want it to be nice and defined just like that so now I can I clean my brush again and then I blend everything out so now I'm gonna be taking the color let's see pinkery dinkery <laughs> I love that name pinkery dinkery <laughs> and uh, it's a very light very very light um, pink and I'm gonna be blending out the edges with that That color is perfect to blend like that. That pink that I just put on the crease. It's 
See how it just blends everything out? But right now, I, I usually go back again with every color and apply a little bit more so that it doesn't get lost and it doesn't blend out too much. I clean the brush again and apply the lighter pink. Almost in my brow bone, basically. See, just like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna be taking the color Brother and I'm gonna apply it right here in the right next to the purple and I'm gonna pack that in and the not really in the center but like right next to that purple so then I I kind of blend that out with this brush and then just blend the edge blend the edges out a little bit so it's not like a straight line there you see how everything is just blended out Okay, so now I'm gonna be applying the color Hello, hello, <laughs> um, hello. <laughs> so these colors are a little bit like shiny, as you can see. So those colors like that, I like to apply with my fingers instead of a brush because I just, I don't know, I just feel like they don't apply the same. Then when I apply them with my fingers, I just feel like you get the most pigmentation with, um, with your fingers so I'm gonna be applying that right up the center I press and push down see see that oh my god you see that and then I take the brush and blend the edges out so it's not one straight line I'm gonna be taking the color brother again and apply it Right next to that purple, just like that. And I'm gonna be taking, I always go back and forth as I said, until I'm happy with how everything is looking, you know? So now I'm gonna be taking the color Artistry. And I love, 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 love this color. This is the first color that I was like drawn into because I don't know, it's such a beautiful like sparkly purple I'm gonna be wetting my finger a little bit though because I really want this shade to like pop so let's see look how beautiful that is oh my god I'm dying so I'm gonna be placing it like right here right next to the I don't know what that color will be the hello <laughs> I'm gonna place it right there, right next to it. Just like that. And again, I like to use this, um, my fingers to apply these colors because they apply a lot better with the, with your fingers than with a brush. With the brush, you're not gonna get as much pigmentation from them than you would with, uh, with your fingers. In my opinion. I tried wearing, wetting my brush even and I just feel like they don't get as pigmented as I do, as they do with my fingers. So, just a little tip. I'm gonna be applying the color Hello again, just so that I can blend them out, kind of with my fingers. Okay, so now I'm gonna be taking that same brush and I'm gonna be taking the color, let's see, I can't even see the color, what it's called, it's called Face and the color is sister. So I'm gonna be mixing those two colors together for my inner corner. And I think I'm gonna wet my brush to get a little bit more intensity because they are pretty, pretty intense, but I just want them to pop on the corner. I'm gonna even apply a little bit more on this side. And that gives a transition from like that purple and then to a very nice light color there as a highlight for your inner corner. Okay, so now we're gonna move into the bottom lash line. And I'm gonna be taking the color Daddy. 
I'm going in with a lot of colors because I want to use some, as many colors as I can from the palette because you know I want to go out a little bit of my comfort zone because I usually don't tend to really combine these colors with you know greens and whatnot you know I tend to just stay to one shade range when I'm doing an eye color but today I was like you know I have this new palette you know why not just release my inner artist you know <laughs> or unlift my inner artist so I'm gonna be placing that color daddy on my on the outer corner of my lower lash line and I'm not gonna go all the way I'm just gonna leave it to like the middle of my eye and then I'm gonna be taking the color cola which is like a nice blue color like a deep blue and place it on the very very outer corner and I'm gonna take it out because I want that to be like intensified there and I'm gonna be blending it out in a second I'm just basically placing the color now and I'm gonna be taking the other the Morphe M506 brush again and blend the edges out so I want to intensify the corners a little bit like this is I'm gonna be using the color Spooky, which is a very black, like a very black color that they created, that he created, and just place it like on the very outer of my eye, just to give it a little bit more depth and dimension, and just to kind of deepen out that crease. And I want to take a little bit of that color Cola, which is that blue again, and place it also on the outer corner just to kind of give it some color so it's not just black and now I'm gonna be taking the brush N441 brush from Morphe and blend the edges out I'm gonna be putting the color uh, social light no social blade <laughs> interesting name and I'm going to be applying it on the middle section of my eye. Because this is going to be the transition between the yellow and the green. And now I'm going to be taking that yellow, that beautiful yellow color, which is called B. And oh my god, look at this color though. It's so pigmented. Yellows, like I have not found a good yellow like ever in any other palette because they're always never pigmented enough and I have to be like patting and patting and patting until like and so there's no more color basically in the palette <laughs> so let me take that social light again or social blade I don't know why it keeps saying social light and I blend the edges out just like that I'm gonna be using my lashes my yellow lashes which look like this I'm sorry this is very dirty I apologize um, in the style summer and they're very wispy they're pretty dirty right now <laughs> I've been really lazy and then I'm really lazy when it comes to cleaning my my eyelashes so <laughs> excuse me so I'm gonna be using the the glue duo to apply them on. So I'm gonna apply them on and I'll be right back. All right guys, so now that I'm done with my lashes and I have my lashes all on, I'm gonna be putting on a waterline liner. And the one that I'm gonna be using is the Sephora brand, it's waterproof and this is kind of like a nice shadow and a liner. So it looks like this and I really really love it for the waterline I just want to add like a little bit of color to my waterline and I was like why not, why not blue I thought it would look really cool see that adds a little extra pop into the eyes okay so now to finish up my eyes I'm gonna be using my mascara by L'Oreal, the Lash Paradise. I'm just gonna be putting a little bit on my bottom lash lines. So 
All right, guys, so I went in and contoured my nose off camera because you guys have seen me too many times doing that. So I don't want to waste, you know, footage time showing you guys that. If you guys want to see a separate tutorial on that or on anything specific, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to do that. But right now, we're going to do the exciting part, <laughs> which is the highlighting. And I'm going to be using this beauty right here, which I'm so happy. I love this with this um highlighting palette is by Anastasia Beverly Hills this is the dream palette and I'm gonna be using the color ethereal which is this one right here it's so gorgeous it's like a very like iridescent um kind of like a purpley pink which is it goes really well with this look and I'm gonna be using my one and only the one I only you always use which is the Morphe N511 brush and I'm gonna be using the Morphe setting spray to wet the brush before I apply it. I always do that with all my highlighters, no matter which ones it is. Because I just feel like, I don't know, they get a lot more pigmented. So, let's see. Oh. <sighs> I just love this part. I love highlighting my face. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. This is gorgeous. I like to apply a little bit on my cupid's bow and then on my forehead a little bit or a bit above my eyebrows just to give me a little bit of glow there and then I like to take my fingers and kind of blend the edges out a little bit because girl you don't want it to be too choppy looking if that's the right term and I already applied my Milani um, Luminoso blush, but I feel like I need a little bit more blush. I'm gonna be using this Wet n Wild baked blush in the color Dare to Soar. I absolutely love the color of this blush, and I'm just gonna be using this this uh, brush to apply it just a little bit to so add like a little bit more. You see more pop of color there. Yeah, that's what I needed. Just a little bit. I love I love a, I love a little bit of blush so now I'm gonna be taking this small brush and I'm gonna be applying the highlighter on my brow bone because we cannot we cannot forget about our brow bone because you know it's a must it just changes the whole look and then now I like to take the same brush and put like a little bit of a dot on my nose and then I do like a line. It's like an exclamation point, basically. Okay, so I decided to use the same color, um, my highlighting color, on my tear duct. Because I don't know, I really love how this color looks. And I feel like it would complete the whole look on the inner corner. So I'm applying a little bit right there. To kind of bring it all together look how it looks oh, I love it yes. okay so now that we're all done with the whole face and my eyes I'm gonna be applying my lipstick now so I I kind of wanted to go with a nude because I always whenever I do like a very dramatic eye I like to go with a very nude lip but today I want to go a little bit more colorful I don't know what do you guys think should I do both? I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna use a little bit of Vaseline. Every time I do um, any type of matte liquid lipsticks, I like to put a little bit of Vaseline on my lips. Oop, I almost dropped that. Just to hydrate my lips. I put just a little bit. And I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Malico lipstick in the color Madison and it's this gorgeous kind of like purpley shade so I noticed that this color was a little bit too bright for me so I'm gonna be taking the color let's see I can even I can even see the name Suspiria by Kat Von D and put it right on top just to see if it kind of deepens the color out Yeah, that's much, much better. I like the Suspiria 
by Kat Von D much better with this whole look. And now that we're all done with the face, I'm going to be setting my face with the Morphe setting spray. I'm going to cover my eyes because I don't want them to get on my, on my lashes. Mmm, so refreshing. I love it. Alright guys, so this is the final look. <laughs> what do you guys think? I am obsessed, obsessed with these colors. These colors perform so well. The pigmentation, the color payoff, the... Well, I guess that's the same thing. But the blendability of the colors is amazing I mean you get a lot of different colors in this palette <laughs> so it's very very versatile you can do neutral colors you can do very colorful co um, eyeshadow looks so it's really all up to you and I really love that it took me a little bit out of my comfort zone because I usually wouldn't do like green with purple you know I wouldn't mix those two colors in the same look but this palette really inspired me to like get out of my comfort zone and just mix other colors together. So I really, really like that about it. And I'm just really excited to really create other looks with it and just experiment because look how pretty this turned out. I love it. Also, by the way, I will be making another video probably right now. Um, they probably won't be going up at the same time, but I will be making a video on this hair so you guys can know where I got it from and all the details on it because I am obsessed with this hair. It's human hair, so stay tuned for that as well. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share please, so that my content and all my videos grow, and that way I can get a little bit more motivated to make more content and videos for you guys. So leave me any comments, any inputs that you guys have about my teaching, maybe my makeup looks, maybe if you guys want something else want for me to like uh, record something for you guys specifically let me know that would help me um and yeah i hope you guys have a very beautiful and safe happy new year and i love you guys i'll see you guys in my next video god bless you